think one of the civic responsibilities of poets in America today is to continue to encourage a sense of civility among us and a sense of curiosity about one another's lives. Uh, there seems to be such a, a strident tone taking over in certain areas that I love the deep attribute of poetry to pause, to look, to listen, to respect, um, to pay attention to variety and learn something new. So I'd hold that close. Well, I think a lot about um, empathy, one community to another, uh, paying attention with respect and curiosity to people who aren't exactly like us. And um, I think poetry can often help us do that, help us have a, a window into someone else's experience or loneliness or difficulty. Um, and having worked with kids so many years and seeing uh, often a, a kind of respect rising up after someone describes something uh, with an honest voice, what changes in the room. Uh, I'm very disturbed by rudeness and um, meanness and having grown up with an immigrant father and thinking about the way immigrants are being talked about in our society. I feel a, really a strong desire to talk about the bravery of the immigrant and the, the sort of doubled capacity for imagination that an immigrant has to have and I think Poetry can often help us do that in a way that isn't didactic, but is um, caring and t kind of takes us into the room. And I'm very curious and hopeful when kids are wanting to read poems about people who aren't exactly like themselves. Mm -hmm. People who don't, I don't believe that we have a hunger to be only with others who match us. Right. That's kind of dull. I'd much rather be with all kinds of people. And uh, I think, we can bring that up over and over again these days in poetry and it has a great societal impact. <laughs>